Hello, this is Mr. Ellis. I'm going to do a brief video about the if statement. As you can see, I have my HTML that is the shell with some styling for my body, my head, and section one. I only have one section. In that section, I will have today only three P tags, which I'll use for output. Okay. I have a script. My JS script is if statement JS dot JS. Okay. And this is where I'm going to spend most of my time. As you can see, I've commented out all the statements and I will uh, uncomment uh, to demonstrate and then we will go forward. As you watch the video, uh, my comments will follow my commentation. Uh, basically, I'm going to read this and then explain the code so if you would like to pause and read the comments and look over the code it's a good way to learn okay and the if statement is a decision structure okay it evaluates a boolean condition boolean true or false on or off and executes one or two one of two code blocks either or okay based upon the evaluation of that condition now, we've talked about the confirm statement, okay? And the confirm statement is Boolean. It, if you click OK, it returns true. If you click cancel, it returns false. And the if statement evaluates a Boolean condition. So if you place a confirm statement in your if statement condition, now you have the answer to a question dictating which one of these two blocks is to be executed okay now in order for me to have a okay answer or question answer to a question that says okay i've said will you play a game with me okay and if i click okay it says thank you what game would you like to play or what game should we play if not if i cancel it says it's false it will say Sorry, you didn't want to play a game. And I probably should say with me. Ooh. Okay. So now I'm going to save and execute this in my browser. And as you can see, the confirm creates a dialog box. And it has two buttons. One is OK, the other is Cancel. If I click OK, the result is true. If I click Cancel, the result is false. And my if statement is going to evaluate that click. Will you play a game with me? Yes. Thank you. What game should we play? Now I'm going to reload. And we're going to go the other route. I'm going to click Cancel. It's going to return a false and it's going to give me the second, the else code block. Sorry you don't want to play with me. The if statement can use comparison operators to determine which of the code blocks that will be executed. A comparison operator is something that you're familiar with. They take a little bit different format in JavaScript than other program languages. The operators are double equal sign is equal to. There is a triple equal sign. We'll talk about that later. The bang equal sign is not equal to. Of course, we know greater than. These are symbols for math. Less than. And in order to do a greater than equal to, we have to, because it's keyboard oriented, we have greater than equal to and less than equal to. These comparison operators will return a Boolean value based upon the two variables or values that are being compared. And here I've placed, I've defined three variables, okay? And these three variables are integers, which I'm going to compare, and then a string variable. The first thing I'm going to do here is check for equality. If these two numbers are equal, it will type these two numbers are the same. 
If they're not else, which they're not, these two numbers are not the same. Since I have 5 and 10, I expect to see the else block executed. Let's see if I've coded it correctly. Did I save? Yes, I saved. Let us go. And now when I reload my page, these two numbers are not the same. 5 is not 10. Now you can compare two strings to each other. And here again, I'm going to use the equality. The double equal sign means equal. String 1, as, as before when I declare these variables, has Kansas in it. And I'm comparing it to a string with Kansas in it. If it is, if it evaluates to true, I get these two strings are the same. Else, it will write these two strings are not the same. Now, I'm using p tags. You could also use document.writes, and later on in the video, I will use document.write. But as you know, with document.write, you have to format inside the string because it's just going to write what you put in that string. So here, let's try this. I'm keeping the same values in my variables, and I'm going to reload. And now, as I reload, these two strings are the same because Kansas is Kansas. In this if statement, we return to the comparison of the two integers. And I want to know if num1, which has 10 in it, is greater than num2, which has 5 in it. So I expect my true block to be executed, my false block will not be executed. And if it is, then it will say, num1, thank you Catherine, is greater than num2. Else, it's going to say, num1 is not greater than num2. And so I'm going to save and reload. Now as I reload it should say 10 is greater than 5. Here we're going to return to the uh, comparison of strings and I'm going to use the equals operator equal equal to see if the user who's prompt for his name enters John. If it does enter John, I know John. I'll say, hello, John. How have you been, brother? If it's not John, I don't know this person, so I'm going to let him know I have no idea who you are. Okay? And here's what I was talking about with the document.write. I have to put my formatting in between the quotes. So what you're actually doing is creating the HTML dynamically. Okay? This is going to be written to the screen. It's not going to use the p tags. Uh, it should, hopefully, and I'm going to demo, uh, hopefully it should ignore the p tags and simply write what is written there. You won't see the p tags because there's nothing in them. Okay. So again, I'm going to use the prompt statement, uh, which creates a dialog allowing the user to enter a string or any characters. Okay. Uh, and it's going to compare it to the name that I've assigned okay to John okay so when I reload note the prompt statement will pause the loading of the page until it grabs the information and the user replies so what name do I put in here? Let's put my name in. I click OK. And it says, I have no idea who you are. And notice, this is not in the P tags. Because the P tags are red on a blue background. This is the document dot right. I did not format the coloring. I just simply type it out as H2. Now, let us reload and type in John's name. 
Hello, John. How have you been, brother? Now, the the action of receiving information in Java's input mechanisms and comparing those to uh, any string or integer will be a, a part of your next assignment. Uh, this has been Mr. Ellis talking about the if statements.